Hi everybody, this is Peter Briak here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about this reflector diffuser kit that I got from photographyaccessories.com.au, which is an Australian company in New South Wales. As you can see, it has three major components. At the top part is the um, reflector hood, which is attached or fastened to the flash head. Inside it has this nice uh, silver finish and on the outside it has a special fabric and within the fabric there are um, flexible uh, metal rods just to you know adjust the angle uh, of the uh, hood. It is secured uh, with velcro to the midsection, uh, the middle part of this circuit uh, which is the uh, diffuser screen. As you can see around the edges it's uh, fully sealed and also uh, around the arch it has special non-slip uh, material uh, just to protect you know the camera from uh, uh, scratches it is uh, fastened to the uh, bottom of the flash uh, unit as you can see it, can, it has this uh, little cinch at the bottom and the last bit the last uh, component or element of this uh, system is the little bonnet that is uh, wrapped around the lens down here and uh, I had to add to this uh, particular small uh, bonnet um, a little more velcro just to suit this super small lens uh, from Laowa, the 25mm ultra macro lens but other than that it works perfectly fine this uh, is made out of specially sourced material as well and its function is essentially just to further diffuse the light and eliminate shadows and create a nice uh, uh, beautiful wraparound light uh, for your subject. Once I got the kit I installed it and went outside and started shooting immediately in the driveway. I took a little bit of a, a time lapse so you can check that out and so far so good the light is absolutely amazing what it produces. The only thing that you have to be aware of is obviously because of the uh, multiple uh, diffusing panels or um, um, diffusion uh, materials you have to uh, adjust the flash exposure. I'm using TTL but I had to um, use flash exposure compensation just to compensate you know the, for the loss of light. I took a whole series of shots about 50 shots of both a female and a male bronze uh, hopper and I'm gonna go uh, through the images the, the good ones that I uh, got and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, each. Also before I forget please uh, have a look at uh, all the accessories that uh, photographyaccessories.com.au have on the website. I'm gonna leave a link uh, down below. Uh, they have all sorts of accessories that you might find uh, useful even if you're not into macro photography yourself. And also the uh, customer service uh, of uh, this uh, small business is amazing. Uh, she always uh, responded to any of my inquiries by email straight away. It was very helpful. Her name was Jen, I hope it's okay to mention uh, your name. Thanks again uh, for your help and assistance. That's about it, let's have a look at the images. So as you can see, I was running around like a headless chook in our driveway, trying to hunt down some uh, species. Unfortunately, I couldn't capture any long-legged flies, which are beautiful in color, really vibrant and uh, iridescent greens and blues, but they were a bit too um, evasive this time. Luckily I captured a series of shots of male and female bronze hoppers. They are tiny little jumping spiders. So let's have a look at the images that I took of the male and female bronze hoppers in our driveway. I tend to find so many of these on our Swiss cheese plant which is just uh, opposite our front door so I don't have to go <laughs> far a way to take some uh, really amazing uh, shots. I really love these species. They are very friendly, very uh, inquisitive and curious. Some of them tend to just straight away jump onto the lens uh, once they see me approaching them. So this first one is a male bronze hopper and the um, quality of light is just mind-blowing to me. So far I haven't been using uh, any real diffusion only use the uh, Lester light bounce card or the Gary Fong light sphere but neither of them really worked. This uh, diffusion kit from photographyaccessories.com really makes a difference. If I zoom in on the um, eye, I mean I shot this at 2.5x with the Laowa ultra macro lens 
on the APS-C body that is essentially 4.1x magnification. That's the effective magnification ratio. So you can see the depth of field is extremely shallow as um, only the side eye and uh, the left eye is in complete focus. Really, really happy with this shot. The colors are gorgeous, really nice soft uh, green color in the background and the rich uh, earthy tones of this beautiful male um, bronze hoppers go really well together, I believe. Next image is of the same. This is a bit um, darker. Maybe I should have increased the exposure a tiny bit, but it's not too bad. Again, uh, the depth of uh, field is so shallow. Only the right eye in this instance is in focus. But I just love uh, the overall beautiful light on the subject. No blown out highlights, no terrible dark shadows, even though this one was hiding one of the uh, lower uh, leaves of the yucca plant so i had to just twist and turn until i got it uh, <clears throat> in the right angle it wasn't as cooperative as the next uh, little specimen but not this one this is uh, actually i'm not even sure what kind of spider species this is i haven't uh, identified it yet it had uh, spiderlings and uh, eggs uh, underneath it, it was uh, guiding it. Unfortunately, I didn't nail the focus, but um, I still like the lighting and the composition, so I decided to keep it. It's a beautiful spider as well. Next one, so this is again the bronze hopper species, just a female, which are considerably smaller in size than their male counterparts. I nail the focus if I zoom in straight to the eye. Those little tiny hairs that surround the uh, the eyes look so fascinating. You can even see their reflection. Unbelievable. I don't want to talk too much about it. Let's just enjoy the rest of the images.